Welcome back to another video. Yes, I just got out of the shower once again and I just washed my face and everything. I'm getting ready for something entirely almost my choice. If not at all, I'm. I can't. I can never understand these people 100. Anyways, um, yeah, today I'm just here to talk about some BS or something, because with um when I was at school and all that BS, it was like, yeah, school's already BS, man. You might as well just go in there and do whatever you can, and then get, and then come back out. If you get suspended, so what? So what? Like I got into a fight. You look at our school system and tell me those kids wouldn't start a fight in there. You look at it. You you go in there for an entire day and, and look at the teachers and the staff in there. You, those kids will start a fight. Not to mention they have officers all over the place. You step out of line one fucking time. They, they got officers ready. Especially if you're a minority. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> they, have, they have them ready absolutely 100%. It could be like 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Like, school just started two minutes ago. And the officers are already here to get you. And it's like, bro, not half of the principals aren't even here. <laughs> and it's like, they don't come over here until like 10, around 9 in the fucking morning or something. If not, like around 7 or 8. And we we're coming in at like six or some BS, and it's like you your fucking principals are coming later than the teachers and the fucking students, and it's like that's some BS, and they're getting paid more. Dude, that's some BS with our system. Oh yeah, it's recording. I can see it now. I'm sorry, yes. I'm totally blind because I don't got my fucking glasses on. Someone decided to put it in the case, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. Like, in God, school was horrible. I'm glad I'm out of it. I got like, to go to college next. Hopefully that's better. And if it isn't, I'm going to burn down the American system piece by individual brick. I swear to God, I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> it's gross. It's downright even disgusting. Honey, what are you going to do about it? Oh, uh, yeah, right. I was here to talk about some money BS that's been going on. Uh, it's this hypodermic. Yo, dude, my homie, like, um, I think he was, like, whatever. It doesn't matter. So my homie was, like, sitting down with his friend or whatever. And the story's going to come in handy later. He was sitting down with his friend, just chilling out, talking to him. I don't know if they were watching TV or whatever. So his mom told him to do something, and he was like, he cursed his mom while he said something to her. <laughs> and then his mom was like, what you said, boy? And did, he, it took him like a couple of seconds, like two seconds for him to realize what he just did. And then he get, ran out of the house. He was like halfway down the street, dude. And then his mom grabbed the sandal, and no BS, he threw that sandal, and it went, Wop on him halfway down the street too. Like, what do you do after that point? <laughs> like, I, I would have just kept running. I would have got up and kept running. She kept. If she came after me, I'm dead. Like, I'm not going back there. She just threw a sandal <laughs> at me, and I'm halfway down the street. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not going back there with that throwing arm. She get that belt. I'm done for. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> talking about yo black parents and all these other parents hitting their children. But you know how that feels. Jeez, when they come after you, they come after you, man. It's like, Jesus Christ. This hurts me more than it hurts you. No, it doesn't. A hundred percent not. I guarantee you it doesn't. Especially with your arm, like you're a grown man or a grown woman hitting me with that belt. You know how much you know how much that hurt? If I would hit you with it, it wouldn't do me nothing since you're a grown man and all that stuff. I'm getting beaten, and it's like, oh, Lord, ah, it's like you're beating a, like, eight-year-old child with a dang belt, but you, how, how am I supposed to react to that, you're a grown man, too, a grown lady, bro, I don't know, this kid was, like, a teenager, I can't remember, or a kid, or whatever, I can't remember, but after that, he walked back inside and did whatever his mom told him. I don't know if it was the dishes or what, bro. But I swear to God, 
They get. They can use any single weapon in the household. To... So, oh, I'm. I'm sorry. What you said, boy? I'm gonna use this grass to beat you. And the such and such and such and such. And this other comedian was like talking about how his mom was like beating him up, and it's like. Tch. Yo, my mom used to get creative of how she beat me. <laughs> like, he, he was talking about how his mom, like, literally came in his room, busted down and hit the door with her bare foot of her foot. Said, you better clean this room up, boy. And his, fr and his friend, who was like, I think it was white or something, I don't know. <laughs> was like, she's, she's violating your secret area, or your space or whatever. And it's like, listen, Michael, I, I ain't gonna fight her. You just saw her knock down that door. You sure it's a good idea to talk to her after that? You go ahead, man. That guy was on the ground literally after two seconds of almost saying his sentence. Dude, and then like his he stole a bike and then his mom got out of work to get him. She she put on like um fitness gear and she had a whole bottle of Gatorade and it's like oh I guess I just have to die today. I went to the police station, I think I was in um a jail for a little while. Now I'm going to the hospital next. And it's like we ain't got no insurance. We we ain't taking you to no dang hospital. And it's like you. I mean, I probably need to go to one because how you whooping me or grabbing these weapons to get beat me up and teach me a lesson? And how you using your hands like that to smack like a five year old child? <laughs> Bro, I might need to go to a hospital because I might be missing teeth after you're done. <laughs> I don't blame them either. Kids are like super dicks and assholes and devils and all that stuff. But it's just like, alright, you just need to do it like one time or twice or whatever. And just tell them all that stuff. Because beating them ain't gonna do them nothing. <laughs> it ain't gonna do that much. It's probably gonna make them worse. But yeah. Anyways, what is it? Uh. Yeah, right. What is it called? Oh, uh, yeah. BS, BS, and more BS has been happening around my area or my situation. Because it's like yesterday I had an argument with somebody about, oh, well, you shouldn't keep your ID on you all the time because you might lose it. And it's like, listen, man, I have like ADHD or some kind of disability or whatever, and I'm on the spectrum. And then my brother is also on the spectrum as well and then it's like first of all listen I already know this but second of all you're just going to have to trust alright the person at least if you've known them for like a while a long time or something oh thank god my skin's finally getting dry but the whole point of that is like they act like oh you're, you're stupid you don't know how to do absolutely anything and it's like homie how about you let someone try if not at all. You can't say I don't know how to do anything. And then yet you want me to do something for myself. You're contradicting yourself. Like you can't have it one way. And you want it to have it the completely other way. That makes no damn sense. At all. A hundred percent. And it's like alright. If I don't know how to do absolutely anything. What am I going to do after you die? What what's gonna happen after you pass, man? After you gone, like after like I'm by myself. What then? I I don't know how to cook on the stove. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to cook on the stove. Nothing. <laughs> Didn't teach me how to camp or anything like that. Or even how to hunt. <laughs> uh, basically, you didn't tell me how to basically do all this other stuff, and it's like. Oh uh, yeah, you should automatically know how to pay your taxes. You you should automatically know how to do all this stuff. And it's like I really don't. And if you're not there to teach me anything, and then you're and you're just sitting there saying you don't know how to do any of it instead of trying to teach me it, or even sit down and talk to me about it. I I'm not gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna die. 
I, that's that's just what's going to happen. I'm literally, it's not an error of, oh, you're going to die because of that smart mouth of yours. Or, oh, you're going to die by talking to the wrong person or this and that. No, I'm not. I'm going to die because your arrogance led me to this point in my life where I can't do absolutely anything. Hmm, let me see. I want to make macaroni and cheese. Oh, wait, no, wait. Glumber said, I have, someone said I couldn't, um, can do that. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Yeah. So, slip of the tongue. I'm still in up with this. Yeah, that was my basic point of view. I look back on it and see what happened. But yeah, basically, yeah, it's been a 100% a mess with that going on. And then your basic argument and all this other stuff. So let me um list off. I'm probably not going to post this. I'm going to probably do another one. Let me list off my point of view. If I try to talk to you or even sit down and try to basically understand what your thought process is, you get mad and yell at me. And and it's like I, I didn't do nothing <laughs> at all. I have no idea what your thought process is. I have no idea what you think my thought process is. And if we can actually sit down and talk to each other about what we think or whatever, that'd be cool. That'd be cool if we can actually sit down and have a dang conversation instead of like me picking up the phone or coming near you and then you're yelling at me. And it's like, when I start yelling back, like, why are you yelling? And it's like, you're yelling at me! Ben, we had an opportunity to talk this too, like a couple minutes ago, but you came in here, started yelling and everything, like I was back there chilling, I'm back here chilling, and you coming in here and yelling on all that, man, I'm gonna yell at you too! If you don't like me yelling, you can come in here and start doing that to me, oh, I thought you were, if you think I'm asleep, the door's right there, it ain't locking nothing, you didn't even try to jingle it, dang! It ain't that hard, and if, especially if it's cracked open. You can come see if I'm in here or not. It's amazing what your ability is. Dang God. I don't know what the point of that is. And the simple fact of it is doing anything that isn't basically hard. And this is like, this is a basic human mechanic. Um, let me see if my, um, son is up. Let me go see if my, um, daughter is up. And it's like, mm, oh, man, the door's cracked open. Yo! Are you up? No, I'm sitting here. I'm just sitting here laying down. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm just laying down for my funeral, man. <laughs> That's what I'm practicing for, obviously. I wasn't sleeping or nothing. Have me jumping out of the bed and stuff. Like, yo, you up? This hit me. This hit my body dropping on the floor, and I'm like, "What? What? what what's going on? The house on fire? What's happening?" <laughs> oh no! I was just making sure you up. I I I need some from you, and it's like, Dad, "What the f man? You just made me drop on the entire floor, bro. Made me break my entire front, man. About to break my rib cage, and <laughs> you got me messed up. You got me messed up, homie." <laughs> Dude, it makes no sense at all, bro. It, it makes no sense at all. And then no matter what you decide to do that day, it's just a basic level of complaining. And you're just like, I don't want to hear this, okay? I literally just got up about a minute or a couple of hours ago, I came out here to get some food or a snack or something. And I'm already hearing this. What, what time is it? It's like 12 in the afternoon. At least. Or let's say I wake up in the morning and I'm a morning person. I wake up like at, at 6. Every single day in the morning. And then I come out for food and try to eat something. You do not have any right to say anything about my habit and what it is. Because first of all, it's 6 a.m. in the morning, man. You were sleeping, you were laying down. 
you can mind your business so you came up to see what I was doing and it's like I'm trying to eat I'm, I'm trying to live I mean I can die I can die at any good old time and you can decide when I can die I absolutely I had no choice of even being born in this world no choice at all no one asked me no one said anything it's just like I just showed up here man I was just born here this is this is what whatever you decided or whatever you believe in let this has me here and it's up to you to s decide what to do with me <laughs> and it's fucking disgusting dude it's like why do you never come out of your room you you complain at every single thing i do even when i'm not doing anything at all you complain no one wants to hear that Nobody. You don't want to deal with my BS. Why Why would you expect me to deal with yours? I think I say this multiple times. If you're not going to be... Let's see. The, the three basic things that an adult needs to do is, number one, be resourceful. Be knowledgeable. And number two, always pull out a helping hand and doing whatever you can. Because most adults these days are like, ah, now nah, I'd rather let a child starve to death if it means he he needs to eat meat. Yeah, I have this whole ham here. Yeah, I'd rather let you starve. You can't eat meat. Do you have any idea what they do to the cows and the animals and all this other stuff? And it's like, homie, bears are trying to kill us, and then you got tigers, lions. And alligators out here. Have you seen Florida? You got alligators just chilling in my front yard. About to take my entire leg out here. They don't care. <laughs> Homie, you can blame it over it. Yeah, you know what they do to the cow. I don't care. I legitimately don't. They're trying to kill me too. You see a bear in a suburban neighborhood. Or a mama bear it, come around a suburban neighborhood. You going back inside. And you running away or trying to kill that thing. Like if a cat comes near you. And attacks you on your face. And you're just supposed to let it go. The man, heck no. Your fight or flight instincts are going to kick in. That makes no fucking sense. Anyways. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what's been going on with me, man, is that basic BS, I know I could have, like, done this in the live stream or something, but it's like, I have BS to handle with people every single day, or trying to do that, and then meanwhile, it's like, ah, uh, okay, I'm going to decide to be nice to you, and you were at my mercy, but still, help me God, I'm not playing that game anymore because it's like, alright, alright, you, you done? You done loading your BS off me? Because the whole point of it is, when you're fighting a person that knows what he or she is talking about, you're just going into that, that conversation expecting to lose. And it's like, it's not a conversation or it's not anything that you want me to know. It's just that you're too stubborn to say, well, I don't want to learn anything new. I don't want to learn anything new. I've been in this world too long, and I don't want to learn nothing new. And then I don't want to learn something, and I don't want to can lose a conversation. It's like, you, you, you lost what exactly? You lost what? Because I tell you what, you, you didn't lose at all. Number one. It's a conversation. You can barely lose anything. You didn't lose your life. If I'm wrong, I don't explode. I don't die. I don't turn into one of those dang Power Rangers monsters and just ah, ding die. That's not. That's not how our form of reality effing works. That's not how it works here. And here's what you could have gained out of that conversation. You could have gained some more respect actually really by you saying oh i lost this conversation you lost respect you 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 you're losing that respect 
that was already there is dwindling down to basically nothing now. That's what that's what that is. I feel like you're just saying I don't want to engage in this conversation if I know I'm going to lose, and it's like you just lost some respect. You just you just lost being an adult. You can't call yourself an adult if you're not willing to do this. Because being an adult is effing hard. And you gotta do the hardest things of your life to be an adult. That's what an adult is. I'm not gonna sit here and take the easiest road I can. I'm going to take the hardest road that I can. Because I guarantee you, life doesn't give up. <laughs> Man, it really doesn't. Back in like caveman times or how far back and even in some other countries are still dealing with this BS. They don't have computers. They don't have access to libraries. They don't have access to public schooling. That's up to the rich to decide. They don't have all that stuff that America or anyone says that America has. It's like we in, we in debt to who America? God? Huh? We in debt to the rich people. Come on. You, we all know that. 100%. We're in debt to all these other companies and other people and BS. We in debt to nobody. Come on, man. Come on, man. And even when we were in debt to other countries, we owe them for what exactly? For... <laughs> huh? Makes no sense. In the beginning of the human race, we had to fight just to survive. And we, we're still, we're going to fight today just to survive. Basically for anything, no matter how hard that is. It's your best, that it's the best you can do. It's fucking gross, but I'm going to do it rather than being lazy and doing absolutely nothing. You know what taking the easy road gets you? Yeah, sure, you completed your goal the easy way. But you know what you could have gained out of doing it the hard way? You could have gained some more knowledge and other stuff that you probably needed to fight back. Because uh, trust me, man. Trust me. Trust me, bro. People just straight up don't care. And it's like, oh, yeah, I have access to all this information on this computer. On this on my phone, but I have no idea how to work my phone and all this other stuff. And it's like, homie, number one, there's a library. So you can go to the library for free. Sit down in the library for free. Read a book for something that you want or need to know for free. And see what you can do with that information for free. It isn't hard. It really isn't. And even when it is, it's basically like, oh, well, that was a pain. Well, I can relax or I can go do something else now since I'm, like, in the mood. And it's like, bro, <laughs> bro, you realize how easy the U.S. has it and you guys complain over the basic, simplest things ever? And it's like, this is entirely stupid. It's... It's so entirely idiotic to think that your thought process is, I lost! Oh God! I lost! I'm going to die! Ah! And it's like, it's so easy to do anything. <laughs> you can go get information at the library. You have computers and other stuff. You have lawyers. You have people to talk to and ask questions to. You have... All this, all these resources and all this other stuff. It's not hard. And even if, like, if you were born in this world with a disability, especially in the U.S., dude, that's an effing privilege. You know how many people would die for one of those? <laughs> dude, man, a hundred percent. That's even better. Please to think about it. <laughs> See what you're eligible for and see what you can do and what you can't do. And you can keep fighting over and over again. So the whole basic disability of saying, oh, I lost this or oh, this happened or oh, this happened. It's disgusting. 
It really is. Because when you sit down and think of the basic question of why would you do any of this? And the answer is, for no f***ing reason at all other than I just wanted to. Homie. <laughs> you have to ask your question, why in what? <laughs> Every single day. Why did I do that to this person? He didn't deserve this. Why? What? What? What am I going to do today? Uh, let's see here. What can I do today? You, you see, my point of view. That's that's what like, you should be thinking once you turn into an adult. That's what you should be asking. What can I do each day? Not oh. Hey, look at this, friends. Look, <laughs> I'm losing a conversation. And it's like, you realize there's like f***ing, what, I think this girl was like six. She was in elementary school, dude. She was in elementary school. And the principal was like, what, like 30, probably older than her. And and she was sitting there, or he was sitting there, losing a conversation to her about, our school will no longer do this. And then, like, a couple of weeks after, his school started doing it. It's like, why would you set up a rule that you're, you yourself weren't going to follow in the first place, sir, madam? And they're just like, oh, we, we're disciplined and all this other stuff. And it's like... You realize you're only saying this to appeal to the rich people. And it's like, at this point, they don't care. They don't care. If you're going to put up a rule, you might as well follow it. Yep. Whatever. Yeah, that's my basic point of view. So yeah, remember kids. Always see what you can do and what you're eligible for. And social media isn't that bad, and it isn't that bad to be on your phone all the time or any of that stuff. That's what you can do. And if anyone's complained otherwise, and they, and they have no basic reason for it, and they like got all their points out, and they keep repeating stuff over and over, this this listen to me and tell them this. You know what? And just walk away or hang up. That's it. You don't have to curse them out. You don't have to do nothing. Seriously, you talking to a person like that or anyone like that, it's like, you know what? And just walk off. Go somewhere else. Because even the response or telling or calling that person back or texting or whatever tells that person that he won. <laughs> or she or whatever. One. And then you screaming and all that other stuff. You lost. You you already lost once you started saying all that crazy stuff. And yelling and screaming and cursing and all that stuff. You already lost the game, sir. You lost. You lost. Let's see. You lost your eligib eligibility to say that you're an adult. You lost many eligibilities to say that you're not, you're clearly not patient. You're clearly quick to anger. And you, and you clearly have in these issues that you don't want to talk about with anyone. <laughs> I already won the game here, man. I'm sitting here calm and everything. Not responding or anything. You said whatever you wanted to say. I said whatever I wanted to say. And that's it. That's it. No one won and lost in this game. <laughs> and even if the game that you want to play is that someone won or lost, it was you in the end. Because you could have walked away from that situation and stopped the conversation right there. <laughs> and saying that, alright, I'm... Uh, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to continue this conversation any longer. That doesn't help the fact that it shows to me that you're a child. You're you're literally a child. I don't want to continue this conversation anymore, so I'm just going to stop it. 
All right. So um, yeah, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. And if you keep going, I'm I'm going to engage you. <laughs> Yeah, that's entirely stupid. You act like a child after that, man. You act like an effing child. And it's like, oh, violence is never the answer. And it's like, it's the answer to some things because I gotta smack the what out you to get some sense out of you. I gotta grab your shirt or something to like Batman. Like, where are they? This gets some sense out of you. And then it's... Do all this with you. Oh, okay, you want to call the police? Go ahead. Call them. Go ahead. They're going to be talking to you, too. And your supervisor's going to be looking at you like, all right, so what did um, the child do to, to let up to that conversation? And then he's going to say his thing, and then you're going to say your thing. And your supervisor is going to look at you like... So, you were standing right there blocking his way to get out. You already knew the principal was on her way. And there's already officers in the school. This kid can't run anywhere. And you know he definitely ain't gonna walk off campus 100%. Because you know where he lives. So what's the point of him even walking off campus and all that stuff? You you have officers. You, you see? See, guys? I'm making this easy for you. This is the game of life. And all you, all you have to do is make sure to play every single card in your hand. Which basically comes down to all is one, which also basically just comes down to my basic BS. And I keep coming back to this. Just see what you can do. And if that's nothing, that's okay too. Even saying the answer is, I don't know, that's fine. <laughs> that's an okay answer. Do, 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 do. Because remember, I mean, like, what else is there? 100% when you get down to it. When you break it down enough, what else is there? Hmm? 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 Makes no sense to me. Makes no damn sense. What time is it? Damn, I've been talking for fucking long. It's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna have to post this now. At 70. I gotta get my stuff together. I don't gotta go until 9 or something like that. So about around 8.20 or something. I can go for a little bit longer. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they also been talking about the Sony games and all a bunch of other stuff. So yeah. I don't understand schools at all. And how that situation's supposed to work and everything. I don't understand how right, it's a whole mess. <laughs> but this pandemic came around and then they started fixing stuff and it's like Think, homie, things have been like this for almost since I was five years old, and now you're starting to fix stuff around this neighborhood. It, it makes no sense at all, 100%. And it's like, well, let's put this off until next year. And it's like, number one, you're not going to look at this case. Number two, how, how many do you have this year? to do number three if you it makes no sense america you have all these people and all these resources and and we can't get anything done it makes no sense at all a hundred percent it's like there are 35 people right here in this office and we can't get anything done we can't find anything and we lost something and i'm looking at you like so oh man oh god almighty bro oh Christ I gotta put my alcohol in my eye now because I missed with it I missed with it uh, this is what I get for not wearing my fucking glasses yeah mm, I can probably still miss with it so yeah let's see what you can do every single day and it was us the end of this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and always remember to be cool. I'm going to try to get on social media today and my other stuff today. Because I'm I'm not going to sit here and just like, Alright dude, that's you. If you want to go ahead and do all this and that, go ahead. I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to be chilling. Because you know what? 
<laughs> yep. I don't want to say anything to you. I don't want to do anything but to you. I don't even want to make a sign at you. I'm just going to walk off and say nothing. I'm, I'm just going to look at you. Just going to look at you and walk off. <laughs> do, 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 do. I, man, if I ever have kids... I'm going to be a great parent, <laughs> or an awful one at that. I have to get my self-esteem back up because it's like, I'm getting back to that area when I was back in like elementary school and middle school and being bullied by the teachers and all that stuff. So it's like, now, then again, I have more confidence now and it's just like, I gotta put that in action and just try rather than just telling jokes and going on camera and doing all this BS because I'm sitting on my butt and I'm doing absolutely nothing and it's like alright yeah no it's time to kick that habit if you don't like it then do something about it that's what I'm gonna force myself to do ah oh, man if I don't like it <laughs> I'm like how I just basically talk inside my mouth like mmm like that <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop and kick those habits, even closing my eyes. Dude, I, I'm gonna have to kick that habit too. I haven't gotten a compliment from a girl in a long time. But I'm gonna have to kick my habits in the butt and just have to like grow up now because you're not dealing with, you're not dealing with any of this stuff anymore. You're an adult now. Grow the up and deal with it like the rest of us and it's like you, you know what you're right you're right under me I will do that and so help me God if I have to pull your soul out of your body I will <laughs> um yeah, yeah yeah that's the um in that video yeah you all the stuff I said oh yeah um I'm also noticing that you guys are not doing much with my social media platforms and um, games and all that other stuff. So I'm gonna need you guys to engage, or I swear to God, I will break your kneecaps and your elbows. I will come to your house and I swear I will kick you in the back of your kneecaps. And then I will this, what's it called? Karate kick your elbows. And then I will not give you medical care after. All right, a hundred percent. You are a minority. You don't have rights in America. <laughs> oh man, oh Black Lives Matter is shutting down the police, and it's like it's the lack of education. You educate these thing people instead of sitting there agreeing with them. You, you're not doing what you can do. You're just sitting there. You. <laughs> All right, that's enough for me complaining. I'm probably gonna bring um. What's it called? My, grind my gears back. Um, I'm gonna start gaming, so um, gaming apps and all that other stuff. But I'm gonna only do it like during night time, so only like really eight, so like around seven or eight o'clock at night, because during the morning time I don't get a lot of Wi-Fi, so I gotta do the stuff that I want to do during the morning. So making, not making videos. But basically interacting in social media and all that other stuff. <laughs> so I can get that done. But um, basically my Wi-Fi goes out like towards 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So that's a pain. And I can't get it back up until like 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's like, I wake up at 6 in the morning, man. <laughs> And um, even when I have it back on, it's still like, a, it's a process if it will work or not. So, I don't even know if, when this video is going to go up. You see, my eyes have been up for an hour because of medication and crap. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been a white mess, kids. It's been a fucking ride. But it's time for me to get off that ride and say, hey, you... <laughs> Um, yeah. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, right. Um, yeah, live streams and gaming and all that stuff. So, like, if I want to do a Grind My Gear series, I will, like, make a video or save it for tomorrow or something like that. 
and then if I want to make a gaming video or a live stream, so like if I want to live stream Google Stadia, I will. If I want to live stream a game, I will, but that will be pushed to like 7 o'clock or something. So, whenever those videos get posted. And there will be also a um, third channel as well. Um, the only social media platforms that all my um, channels will have is from the Legendary 99 channel since that's the main account I use for everything. So I'm going to change... I don't think I will change the DeviantArt page since I had that for almost a year. But it is connected to um, the second channel. But um, I don't really care. So I'm willing to keep that up for as long as I can. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the second channel. Blocks, yeah, that, but everything. It's all social media platforms will be on... Um, Beyond that, I can't stream on Twitch. Twitch won't allow me to do that, so that sucks. I won't add the Twitch thing because Twitch won't let me. And what else is there? Um, yeah, yeah, I have that. Yeah. So if I live stream seven or eight o'clock, something like that, really late. If I make a video, I won't upload it until like the next day or so. So yeah, that's. Super disappointing, I know, but that's as much as I can do. Plus, I gotta get, I gotta do some stuff. I have to organize some people and straighten out some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't wait until I turn 20, then, my, then I'm gonna have back issues. Because I'm working on all this other stuff. So yeah, um, a third channel, I don't know what that's going to be about, but when I announce it, I will. It's going to be about, um, Stop Your BS, or something like that. Ah, dude, nah. yeah. And then reactions and all inappropriate stuff that I will go on the second channel. So yeah, so. This is not going to go up to the second channel, this is going to go on the main channel. And this will be the um, last fish video. You guys will only get gaming and um, that's it from now on. The second channel will have all the reactions and all the inappropriate stuff along with the live streams about this. So yeah, I go to the second channel for all that. And the third channel will be um, the Sabi BS. And those channels won't be uploaded. Not today, anyways. They won't be uploaded until like around tomorrow. So make sure to check check the um, main channel tomorrow. So I can't do anything until then. So yeah, p -p 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 peace, fam.